Hi guys, Dr. Tom here. Hey, welcome to the Elevator STEM Challenge. And as it turns out, elevators, guys, are super useful machines. We know that they lift people and other things up and down in tall buildings where it would be super hard to move them up just using a stairway or a ramp. All right. And we know that elevators must also pull with a force that's strong enough to overcome the force of gravity that pulls down on both the elevator itself and the things inside it. And this is the Shanghai Tower in Shanghai, China. It's the second tallest building in the world at 2,073 feet or 128 stories high. Not only that, but it contains the world's fastest elevator and the world's highest observation deck. Can you imagine using the stairs to get to the top of this monster skyscraper? This is the world's tallest outdoor elevator, and it's also located in China. This elevator is made mostly out of glass, so you can view things all the way up and all the way down if you want to. Taking the stairs would be quite a hike here, too. The basic parts of an elevator include a car, a shaft, a motor, and a cable. The car provides a sturdy and safe area for people to ride up and down, and the shaft provides a tunnel-like structure where the car can move safely from floor to floor. The motor, or cranking device, provides the power that's needed to pull the elevator to the top, and the cable attaches to the motor, the top of the shaft, and the car. So in the STEM challenge, the student's task is to build a working model of an elevator and that means they have to design it build it and test it to see if it'll lift an object to the top of the elevator shaft the elevator should include a car a motor and a cable at the minimum and i also encourage students to include an elevator shaft that's either made out of cardboard or foam board but a shaft isn't a necessity the elevator should be able to lift an object from the bottom to the top using the crank on the motor to propel it. Uh, and you can designate the amount of mass, you can choose certain objects to align with a holiday, like a miniature pumpkin for Halloween, or you can let the students choose. Uh, and in designing their cranking device to serve as a motor, students can use a dowel rod or a stiff straw to serve as the shaft that spins to either wind up the cable or wind down the cable. And if they attach a popsicle stick or something like that to the end of the shaft, it makes the lifting a lot easier and they gain a considerable mechanical advantage in the process. And after their initial construction is complete, students should discuss the results and kind of evaluate the effectiveness of their elevator overall. And then after doing so, they should figure out at least one substantial improvement that they could make and then they should go ahead and make that improvement and then try retesting the elevator to see if the effectiveness is improved. And along the way, it's a great chance for you as a teacher to emphasize the cyclical nature of the engineering process. And so that's kind of it for this uh, STEM challenge overall. I hope you and your kids like it and good luck with it. Take care.